Hello, my name is Hunter, and I was born and raised in America. This is my fiancée, Katerina. She is from Montenegro. We met in America in 2018, and now we have traveled to many countries together. One year ago, in June of 2019, I came out to Montenegro to be with her and to ask her to be my wife. She said yes. We spent the following six months in Montenegro and visited a few other countries. I am only allowed to be in one country for three months before I have to exit for three months, and I hadn't been following the rules very well. It seemed like it was getting risky, so Katerina and I decided to follow the rules and stay in Serbia for three months, beginning in January of 2020. We were enjoying our time in Belgrade, Serbia, until we heard about the rapid spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. About two months into our visit in Serbia, the virus had spread around the world and into Serbia. Countries began closing their borders to minimize the spread of the disease. We were stuck in Serbia only a few weeks before we expected to go back home to Montenegro. For the next two months, we were isolated inside of our studio apartment, unsure of what to expect and when we could go home. As people isolated, the number of positive cases digressed and countries began to open restaurants and shops again. In an attempt to figure out when we would be allowed to enter Montenegro again, I contacted the U.S. Embassy of Belgrade. They said they had no idea when I'd be able to do that, but that I had to leave Serbia in four days. This was unexpected and there were not any other countries accepting foreigners in at the time, except for one area and that area is the disputed territory of Kosovo. So we went to Kosovo in hopes to stay long enough until Montenegro would let me in again. So we ended up getting to Kosovo and we were self-isolating for the first seven days. And then as the days went on, we started becoming closer and closer to figuring out how to get back to Montenegro. We were calling a whole bunch of people and they're all helping us to figure out how to get across the border. So we tried to figure out how to get back to Montenegro today, and we messaged a whole bunch of embassies and a whole bunch of clinics to try to figure out how to get a COVID-19 test. And everywhere is saying that they don't have tests in Kosovo. So to cross the border, they require us to have a negative COVID-19 test to enter Montenegro, but there's no tests here but we know that people are still crossing over the border, so we're suspicious that people are either like copying and printing off negative test results or they're doing it somehow illegally, we're not sure. But yeah, this is just putting another stop to our journey back to Montenegro. But yeah, we'll figure out what happens next. A few minutes ago, we just figured out that we are able to get a COVID-19 test. We found a place in the Serbian part of Kosovo that is going to be doing the test that we need to get. So tomorrow we are hopefully going to be heading back to Montenegro. And things just changed so quickly. Within five minutes, my whole entire day and week just changed. And I guess that's kind of I guess that's what it's like to travel during the pandemic. So now we are rushing out of the door, trying to make it to this place in time. It's 10 kilometers away, and we are going to have to pack everything tonight so then we can leave tomorrow to go get our test results and then hopefully find a bus to take to get back to Montenegro. So we got a busy day today. I'm not relaxing today at all. There's no sidewalk. So they don't have addresses here, so it's really hard to find wherever we're trying to go, isn't it? Yeah, so I just saw this now and I was like, stop, stop! <laughs> we were, we took a taxi like 
and just told them to go in this general direction. And yeah, so now we're here, hopefully, I think. So we just got the test done and the doctor drove us to here for some reason. It was very nice of him. It's kind of spooky though, but yeah. have to find a taxi in this crazy part of the city. We haven't been to this part of the city before. We've only driven through it. So it's nice to actually be here and look around a little bit while we're here. got back from getting our coronavirus tests for uh, to get back to Montenegro and we hung out in that area of the country for a little while and the lady that was bringing us back in the taxi decided that she'd be willing to take us to the border there are no buses going to Montenegro from Kosovo right now we just learned so we're gonna be taking a taxi there. Luckily, it's not extremely far away. It's not gonna be super duper expensive. It's gonna be a little bit expensive, but not extremely expensive. So that's nice. We're gonna get our coronavirus test results tomorrow. And then once, we're, once we got those, then we're just headed out to Montenegro and hopefully it all goes good. So we're gonna finish packing today and just chill. And yeah, we're super excited to head back to Montenegro though. So we woke up this morning and we were waiting for the taxi to arrive and we we're just getting the apartment cleaned up getting ready to leave and then uh katarina's mom called the border and they're like nope you can't cross anymore haha <laughs> in your face and you're an american <laughs> you can't cross yeah so oh. just yesterday they were saying that we could cross and now they're saying that we can't cross and yeah so for the past three hours you know we were just extremely upset again because katarina has been away from her family for seven months now and we were only planning on being away for three months we called the health inspector of montenegro and they yelled at their employees and stuff like that and they're gonna help us to get across the border so we're gonna still gonna try and we think that it's possible for us to cross the border still so yeah that's where we're at now to the border. We are taking a quick stop at this gas station right here and we're unsure of what's going to happen but we're still pretty hopeful. So things are going good.
We made it. Woo! We're back in Montenegro now. We just got here last night, uh, pretty late, but we made it and we're back home. A uh, really unexpected journey. We got here really quick and the border crossing was pretty easy. It wasn't it was, too bad. It, we were so scared. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like the, the border to Montenegro was a little long and nerve wracking, but we're yeah. here now. So yeah. we're happy. Finally in Montenegro.